uh, the challenges uh, are great of course I don't have enough money um, uh, and um, and of course I have good good uh, volunteers but still nothing like uh, you know when you have money you can uh, do a lot of things <laughs> you can pay people to go and ride the motorbikes and uh, buy more banners and uh, buy more flags and uh, do a lot of things and uh, you can pay volunteers you can pay uh, all kinds of people so when you have mo no money you really rely on genuine supporters who believe in your cause and to be honest, I am very lucky in that department because uh, I do have very strong, uh, uh, you know, people who utilize their skills uh, in helping me in the media as well as, um, you know, and I, I also have a great assistant, um, you know, campaign manager. Uh, I think I would, yes, uh, if I'm still healthy and, uh, and, um, you know, but um, I may have other plans uh, for the for the next five years. Uh, uh, watch this space. Um, I'm talking to. But Puan Pantai is here, right? Batu again, huh? uh, We'll see. We uh, I, it's going to be maybe bigger. Uh, you know. A, a different area, you mean? No, not necessary. I would love to stand here again mm -hmm. uh, because I already know this place. As I said, I like the idea of being close to my home, easier to, uh, you know, go to the constituencies uh, and things like that. I, I don't, I don't understand how MPs live, uh, you know, so far away from their constituents, um, and how do they serve uh, their constituencies, you know? And um, so I, I, I always believe that you should stay within the local area where you're going to serve.